So that wasn't even fair. So yesterday we got a cabin at um, Red Meadows. We relaxed, we enjoyed ourselves, we had a good time, we ate good food, we slept on a, uh, in a comfortable bed. And then our first, first thing in the first thing in the morning we leave to go hike. And what do we do? A 3.2 up hill, mile uphill climb. Six o'clock in the morning. It's insane. So, what'd you think? Uh, that was a nice way to wake up. <laughs> 3.2 miles. All right. So I, we moved pretty quick this morning. Yes, we did. So. Uh, the, the rest really, really helped. I think uh, we're rejuvenated and I feel good. How's your foot? Uh, foot's better. After I stopped and took care of it, no more hot spot. So, good. done. All right, see you soon. going on this is Omar and Allie yeah all right so we hiked up to uh, we are at Duck Creek today Duck Creek and today's hike was so boring boring <laughs> I mean boring it was the same <laughs> the same terrain the same visual same everything for the whole 18 <laughs> miles and the worst part about it was all uphill so it was a uh, brutal Luckily, we woke up early. That mm -hmm. way, we we, uh, we missed the heat. But towards the end, like around noonish, it got really hot. We were exposed to the sun, so it was uh, wasn't very comfortable. So tonight's dinner. What's tonight's dinner? Tonight's dinner is beef and broccoli with rice, Asian mm. style. Yeah, I had mine. Oh, there's a big piece of hair in mine. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so I had mine. It's really, really good. Ah, uh, put some little sriracha sauce on it. It's good. Um, any updates? Um, today went really well for us. For as long as we hiked, we actually got through it really quickly. Mm -hmm. um, and, uh, you know, we got here nice and early, so we were able to relax and mm -hmm. kind of continue our rest day from yesterday. Yeah. So, got a little bit of a shorter day tomorrow with some more ups and downs. Yeah. It's nice to, uh, even though we're a day back, we're back on following our schedule. So, yeah. we're ending up where we're supposed to be each night. Yeah, we flew today. I mean, I can't believe how much, how fast we did 18 miles. Maybe, uh... We're at that point now where our bodies are just so used to what we're doing and maybe we're, our brains are just used to getting into the zone and just going. I know I am. And even with full bear canisters because we resupplied yesterday. That's right. So we have full heavy, heavy bags. So yeah, felt good. I feel good. My no injuries, no blisters, um, just a lot of mosquito bites. How about you? I'm good. Yeah. I'm good. No complaints. Still going to go. finish it? Huh? You still gonna finish? Still gonna finish. Absolutely. There's no doubt. Up on top of Whitney. Yeah. Now it's just a matter of when. Exactly. Whitney Portal. I <laughs> guarantee you we're gonna do it in 19 days. <laughs> Not 20. All right. So here's camp. We got my camp, uh, my tent right there. Got hers over there. Today's clouds. It was a full blue, blue skies today, but now the clouds are coming in, so we're gonna put the fly tents up. That way, uh, if it does rain, we're not caught by surprise. And if you look down there, you can't see it, but you can hear the creek. Uh, anywhere we camp out, we have to stay near water for food and water and everything else. So that's today's update. I'll see you uh, tomorrow. Yep. Adios. Adios.
in the middle of Silver Pass. We decided not to go all the way to the top. There was no need because we can't travel too much tomorrow anyway. So tomorrow will be a short day. Today was a short day. Short day for us is what, 10 miles? Yeah. So. And we added on an extra mile to what our original plan was anyway. Right. So uh, here is our camp. We have a nice little fire that took us forever to start. And Allie. Yep. What's going on? Uh, we had a good day today. It rained a little bit on us. Uh -huh. um, and what else? Uh, we got here nice and early. We're having breakfast for dinner. Yeah. So that's kind of exciting. We're having green grits and ham with goldfish on top. Um, Whatever that means. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what else? Another good day. All right. So. so we're seven days in. Yep. Okay. We're 12 days left. Mm -hmm. Any... Uh, any advice, any regrets, any anything that you'd like to add to the uh, oh, camera? Oh gosh, um, be ready for the unexpected. I, I never thought it was going to rain and be this overcast, you know, in the middle, oh. early July, whatever it is. Which um, also means that my uh, solar panel charger didn't work either. Sorry, go ahead. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> and, uh, you know, what else? Uh, you know, take a second and enjoy the views. I did a lot more picture taking today. Nice. Which was good. I hadn't taken nearly enough pictures to justify the huge camera that I brought. So, take some time and enjoy the sights. It's gorgeous up here. Yeah. It gets better and better. And again, the uh, the people who we meet are awesome as well. So, I, I like the, the tight, tight-knit group. So, that's it. That's day seven. We're about to eat. Stay uh, close to this fire. Uh, it might rain tonight again. Yeah. It rained last night. It's going to rain tonight. We got all our uh, tents ready. We're all set. So we might be able to sleep in tomorrow, huh? Since we're, I not, think so. since we're not going far. Yeah. We sleeping can in. sleep in until like six, seven even. Seven o'clock. Whoa, watch <laughs> out. But we're also sleeping at eight o'clock anyway. So that's like 12 hours of sleep routine. So anyway, um, that's our report for today. Day seven. Adios. See you tomorrow. Adios. Dinner time.
not a short day. There's still 10 miles, but this water is wonderful. Look. So, tough to get I need to wash off two days of funk. Hey, what's going on? It's us again. Hello. And today, what is tonight's dinner? Beef stroganoff. Woo! I love me some stroganoff. Can you see yours? Yeah. So, tell us about your day, Allie. Um, it was a little bit longer than we thought, but we went up over Silver Pass, uh, mm -hmm. 10,750 feet. Um, it was not as hard as Donahue, so that was good. Yes. Uh, and we did a lot of downhill today, a lot of steep, steep downhill. Um, about 35, 36, 100 feet lost, something like that. Um, and now we are down by Vermilion Valley Resort, but we're not actually going there, so we're by the Lake Edison Junction. So we hit our mileage today. Yeah, and it was 14 miles. There we go, 14 miles. Aye. Yeah. So what's, uh, what's on the agenda for tomorrow? Tomorrow we are hiking as far as we can up and over Bear Ridge, uh, which I'm guessing is that one up there. And then uh, we descend a little bit and then we <coughs> start climbing up Selden Pass. So we'll stop at one of the lakes close to the top. Uh, and then the next day we get to go to Muir Trail Ranch to get our last resupply. And then 10 days of food and 10 days of hiking. All right, so we are at the midpoint. Yes. How do you feel? I feel good. Um, you know, it's kind of crazy to think that we've walked hundreds of, over a hundred miles, you know, on our own two feet. Uh, when if you drove it, it would take like a couple of hours. It makes you think about it a little bit differently. So that's it's pretty cool. Yeah. Nice. And body, how's it feel? Um, body feels good. Uh, bottom of my feet are starting to hurt a little bit, but most of the time they're just kind of numb. So I'll take that over feeling the pain. Um, but my legs still feel strong and uh, we're still going. All right. And this is our little tent or little setup. I like it because it overlooks a big old mountain. Anyway, day number nine done? Nine is done. Nine is done. We'll see you on day 10. Yep. All right, bye. What's up, Joey? What up? This guy. <laughs> we met him on day, day one, one and it's now day nine. We're still hanging out. You gotta love it. 